uh, I can see why our Republicans' uh, friends have uh, selected you. You are very persuasive, and I want to make it abundantly clear uh, anybody supporting uh, this concept certainly cannot disregard the great advancements that have been made uh, in American medicine and the great contributions that the private sector have and continue to give. And uh, I only wish that, that you can help us to, to understand that we cannot find acceptable 48 million people without health care, and I know you agree with that. Over half of that amount are underinsured. And the whole idea that this genius of the private sector cannot compete with a government operator, or better than that, that the American people will not seek out the best that they can find, uh, certainly is a far cry from what you describe as socialized medicine or whatever derogatory term uh, that you want to call it. We're not competing for a French plan or a Canadian plan or a foreign plan. This is an American problem, and it has to be an American solution to it. And so I just ask you, doctor, if indeed we are talking about competition, don't you believe that the government can learn from the private sector and that the private sector can learn from the government? We as Americans, and certainly the medical profession, have never run away from the challenge of competition. Why won't you give us a chance? Mr. Chairman, uh, let me agree with you that there are significant problems here. And, and certainly I don't wish to walk, I don't wish for you to walk away from my testimony today thinking that I'm glossing over these problems. There are too many uninsured Americans. I'm not quite sure that we should be so concerned with that large number, but within them, there is a core group, maybe eight or nine million, who really do fall through the cracks. And it is up to this body in these deliberations to find a way of reaching out. But be careful. Be careful what we end up doing, because as any doc good doctor knows, it's not enough to come up with the right diagnosis. You have to come up with the right treatment. And sometimes when you don't do that, the patient gets worse. As you know, I'm pretty libertarian in my thinking. Milton Friedman wrote the foreword to my last book. He was a mentor for me. What was the name of your book? We might as well get that in now. Well, Mr. Chairman, The Cure, How Capitalism Can Save American Healthcare. Available on Amazon.com at a very reasonable price, Mr. Chairman, but today I'll offer you a book at no charge. But Mr. Chairman, I think one should be very careful about the language we use. Yes, you and I believe in competition. Yes, you and I believe in individual choice. But a public plan option, as is being discussed, is not true competition, and it's not true choice. As you know, the discussions underway are to have Medicare pricing. In other words, we would build a public plan option basically modeled after Medicare. Medicare is not really an insurance. I know you and I throw that term out. And when you have public plans in other countries, we talk about social insurance, but they're not true insurance. Medicare is a federal program. Medicare is a federal program with price controls, one that is, that is opted out of state regulations, that doesn't require any of the capitalization required of private insurances, that doesn't account as private insurances do. So yes, I believe in competition, but it's got to be fair competition. I think a better approach- Who is there? Tell me, please, what is unfair about the option? Because I have more respect for the ingenuity of the private sector. Why would anyone that enjoys the genius of the private sector walk away from that to a crumbling, failing government, irresponsible program? Can I, I quote you on that? <laughs> well, this is your language, and I'm saying right. that why would anyone walk away from what you are describing? The, the key word sure. that separates you and I is that you already said the program, the public option program, is unfair. Well, hell, I'm sorry, but if I was losing a lot of money and uh, to a competitor, I, I would try to find that word, saying this competitor is coming in, reducing my profits, 
I'm in business to make money. That's what my job would be in the private sector. And if anyone came in with any idea about just providing health care, I wouldn't call that unfair. Tell me what's unfair about the system since we're searching to give confidence that we want an even playing field. What could we possibly do to provide the competition, which I'm certain you're not afraid of, as long as it's what? Fear. Tell me what we could do to perfect this so you can say, well, at least that's fair and we can match you patient for patient, and in your case, dollar for dollar. Sure. Three words. Scrap price controls. Where would the price control be? Well, Medicare price controls. As you know, there's a committee of We're Congress. We're paying for the that, private sector with Medicare. Sure, right. That's how they make their money. It's government money that goes into these programs. The doctors are reimbursed with federal dollars. But they're being reimbursed at a fraction of what they would make in the private sector. And as you know, there's good evidence that there's cost shifting going on, whereby private plans end up picking up uh, the, the weight, uh, the, the dropped weight for, from, from the public system. Doctor, sir. we have so many programs that the patients and the clients are supported by federal dollars and, and Medicare, where they are doing so well and making profits, if you will, by cutting a lot of procedures that are truly found to be unnecessary. And I might say that a lot of doctors would share with you the lack of satisfaction that they get with the payment system, which forces them, in many cases, to find services that are not necessary to be funded by the government because they don't believe that the reimbursement is adequate. We're trying to take care of that. But I don't think we Hold on, Mr. Chairman. Hold on, Mr. Chairman. I think you've persuaded me that Medicare is in need of reform. I'm not sure you've you persuaded me. You bet your sweet life it is. But you've not persuaded me that- The whole system is broken. The whole system is broken. And we don't expect the private broken. sector to come forward and fix it. We need a partnership. We need a fair relationship. And the only difference that separates you and I is that I think you're suggesting that you're not afraid of fair competition. Then let's agree on what fair competition might be for this exactly. public plan option. No price controls, reimbursement set by the private sector, capitalization reimbursement required. Set by the private sector, did you say? Yes, doctors oh. ought to make a fair wage, don't you think? A fair wage. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I believe in competition. Let's, we're not talking talk about competition in between insurances. Because, uh, we're talking about competition between a It's all a program. question of what is fair, and uh, I'd like to yield to the ranking member because we have reduced our differences to price. 